Advocate Abha, over to you, a quick word and understanding on uh, the petition that's going to be taken up on urgent hearing basis by the Supreme Court tomorrow. Uh, there are two requests that the rebel camp have made. One is, to, one is against the disqualification notice issued by the Speaker, the Deputy Speaker. The other, of course, asking if at all the Deputy Speaker uh, has the jurisdiction in the first place because the rebel camp have moved a no conference motion which the Deputy Speaker has struck down. Also asking for security for your families at this point, how would you look at it as an advocate, Abha? So they are asking for security, something Supreme Court can give directions, but I think today only central government has already given these uh, dissident MLAs uh, why security and uh, central paramilitary forces are going to protect them. So that is not an issue. I think they are making a hue and cry because uh, it's only for political ramifications. Now coming to the other two issues where uh, the deputy um, sp speaker has uh, disqualified them, yeah. uh, th that will be governed totally by the anti-defection law under the 10th schedule, 10th schedule where section 4 very clearly says that even if uh, Eknash Shinde and his team have defected, they need to merge they need to merge with another political party, otherwise they would stand disqualified. So this is a point. But then um, nothing can be decided in the Supreme Court. They will have to come to Maharashtra and it will be in the assembly. The floor test will take place. If you remember Madhya Pradesh where Shivraj Chauhan yeah. versus government, the matter when it went to Supreme Court, Supreme Court clearly ordered a uh, floor test because at that time the Chief Minister Kamal Nath, he wanted the government to be dissolved. So here also, uh, there may be a situation where the Uddhav Thakri says that dissolve the house, but then it will be decided by them to have a floor test. So this is what the Supreme Court would decide and what would be the time span. Whether the Supreme Court says that the floor test should be done immediately or it gives some time, that is also would be decided by the Supreme Court tomorrow. But nonetheless, Eknath Shinde may say that he is the original Shiv Sena, but for that, that will be decided by the Election Commission. And yeah, then I, election I was just getting to that question. It, it, it looks like this entire issue boils down to whether the Election Commission will recognize the Shinde camp as the real Sena. And will, will they... But they cannot decide that Election what's Commission... What's the protocol for that decision to yeah, come about? No, no. For that, what is very important is that not only the MLAs, um, they, would be, um, they would be talked about, but even the Raj Sabha MPs, the, uh, the, um, uh, the mayor, the five mayors, then the leaders, there are uh, 19 leaders of the party, there are 32 sub-leaders, also there are spokesperson, that is the protocol. All these will be taken into uh, um, uh, discussion and only after that election commission would reach a solu uh, decision. If you remember when the fight between Mulayam Singh Yadag and, and Akhilesh took place, it was Sun who got the symbol of a uh, cycle. So election commission will cannot just go without facts and things. The procedure is very well laid down and as per the act, the symbol act, it will have to go ask these people, the mayor, the leaders, the deputy and, leaders, and, and, and say in case in case they in case they initiate the process to to push for a separate Shiv Sena, which is called the Shiv Sena uh, Bala Sahib. That's the name that they want to Christian it. Uh, in case they initiate that process, how long will that take? I'm only asking to try and understand how long will the people of Maharashtra be in a limbo without a government. You know, government would be decided by the floor test, but this symbol of the Shiv Sena fighting, that may take years. There are so many matters. Mm. If you remember the MGR, Janki and Jailalita, that also uh, was a long drawn process in Bihar. Um, we had recently Chirag Paswan and his uncle Paras Paswan. So th this has been going on. It cannot be decided over a day. It may take six months. It may take one year. There are issues which have taken more than two years. And yeah. then both the parties would eventually go back again to the Supreme Court. And then it would, uh, the final thing would come out. So this is a long drawn process but the first issue is whether these tw the 27 MLAs if they don't join um, BJP or any party whether they will be disqualified 38 or MLAs they have the strength of 38 which is a clear two third yeah, majority in above but if they don't join they will lose their Shiv Sena identity first if they don't join because 10th schedule section 4 very clearly says only thing it says is merger Without merger, nothing can take place. So, so a, a quick a word, when you say merger, they've got to withdraw or resign from the primary membership of the Shiv Sena and join the yes, BJP formally? Yes, yes. If of this course, is BJP course, that they're looking at, then they have to yes. formally join the party. Absolutely true. They cannot call themselves Shiv Sena if they're going to merge. So does that mean they also resign from uh, the Legislative Assembly? 
Yes, in fact, the one of the uh, petitions which has been moved to the Supreme Court by a Congress worker, it clearly says that they should be barred from a, a, a contesting any by-elections. That is what also has been moved. No, so, so if, if they do merger, they resign from the primary membership of the Shiv Sena, also no, resign, resign, resign from the as an MLA. They resign, yeah. they resign yeah. and call for re-election. Is that the only option? No, no, no. A re-election? By, a by-election? No, no. no, if they merge. See, there are two options. If they merge and they become part of BJP, then of course they can form the government. Because if you if they have the numbers and the floor test, it is proof. Mm. Like it happened in Goa. Like it happened in Goa where BJP MLAs went and uh, Congress MLAs, sorry, and MGP MLAs went and joined um, BJP. Even though Congress had 17 MLAs and BJP had 13, but because they crossed over, but they merged. They lost their identity and they merged with the Congress. Mm. So here also Shiv Sena, these uh, Ekna Chindre team has to lose its identity. They may remain MLAs, but they would be called BJP MLAs. They mm. would become, they would lose their identity as Shiv Senics. And that is what is the biggest fear these people have because their I identity... I understand. Right. Shiv- Let's-